Hey guys, thank you for all your questions. I have answered as many as I can. Uh, the one thing I got a little bit of pushback about was uh, in qualities that you should look for in a spouse. And I said, you must be physically attracted to them. And some people thought, well, where's the biblical basis for this? Um, I wasn't asked to give Bible verses. I was asked for my opinion. Um, I do believe that scripture teaches that when Adam and Eve were made, they were made complementary and uh, and there was uh, a physical attraction between them. Otherwise, the human race would have died out very, very quickly. And that's kind of my point. If you have somebody who you really, really like, but there is zero physical attraction, what you've got is a really good friend there. If, if God wants you to be together, there will be attraction on both sides. I really believe that. Otherwise, you've got a really good friend. And why spoil that? Um, the reality is that if you are going to marry somebody, you are going to have sexual intimacy with them. To have sexual intimacy with somebody that you have zero attraction to is going to be incredibly difficult. Okay? Um, that's the easiest way of saying it. If you are going to have sexual intimacy with somebody, you need to have some attraction physically emotionally mentally spiritually all of that i am not saying that physical attraction is the ultimate it is not okay what i am saying is it needs to be there at the start at least does it change over time yes can i say that i'm more physically attracted to my wife than i was when i met her 12 years ago yes i absolutely can do we both look exactly the same no uh, we both look better and um, with the age we're both like fine wines but you must have some physical attraction there i think I know some of you will disagree with me on that. That is okay. You go marry somebody you're not attracted to and come back to me in 20 years and we will have the conversation then. But God designed marriage. Part of the fulfillment of marriage is sexual intimacy. And sexual intimacy involves it involves physical attraction. It involves much more than physical attraction, okay? But it involves physical attraction. What men and women find attractive are different. Okay, let me say that. What men and women find attractive are different. Attraction can change, particularly for a woman over time. So many girls you'll see, will say things something like this. I didn't fancy him at the start, but after I got to know him, there was just something, he grew on me. There was something, guys don't tend to say that very often. Guys are kind of like light bulbs or like switches. We're on or we're off, we're either we like her or we don't. Girls uh, are more like crock pots. They can just take a little while to warm up. Uh, I think I'm going to stop this now. I think I've said enough. Um, but yeah, just my opinion is that the first thing attracted to me to my wife was not her faith in Jesus. I would love to tell you that. It was what I saw. And after that, once I discovered her faith in Jesus, it just made it all the better. So uh, guys, what, what do you look for is up to you. I'm not going to fight with you over it, okay? I, I just think for most people... If you're going to marry somebody, when you stand at the front of that church or wherever you stand, you want to look at them and think, I did good. I did good. Whatever that means to you, I did good. And uh, I'll just leave that with you. God bless. Bye.